Hey guys, what's going on? So a lot of you liked my solo video um, last week, so I decided to do another one of those today. Uh, this one is going to be a little bit more useful as you'll actually be able to farm some of your Prebus items. And the great thing if you're a Druid, uh, there's actually three items from Omok that drop that are actually pretty useful for Druids. So let's get right into the video and I'll explain how to do it. So first off, you're going to need to be either a stealth class or you're going to have to have access to Noggin Fogger or Slow Fall so that you can get over onto another ledge. Um, now, the one thing you're going to be using in this is kind of like a juggling strategy where you juggle mobs back um, between two different paths. So one will be along this path that you see me traveling on right now and then the other will be obviously on the normal uh, hallway. So what's going to happen is you're just going to pull these first mobs. Now, you see me stop casting here because there's actually a mob that patrols up and down. And you want to make sure you get these three all at once. Uh, because if you have mobs that are spread out, uh, the problem is they're going to be on different parts of the path. And if you get unlucky, then you can have uh, the three mobs spread out quite a bit. And then what will happen is... Um, you're going to die just from them being spread out and you know one will be on one side of the path and the other will be on the other so you want them grouped up and what's going to happen is when you jump up onto the lip of the ledge right here they're going to path all the way around now before uh, you get too carried away and let them path all the way around what will happen is there's actually a pack of ogres at the other end and there's going to be three of them so this first pack that you kill you need to make sure that you don't let them go all the way down to the end of the hallway so if there's any tricky packs this will probably be one of them just because you can't really let them path all the way down um, so you're just going to slowly kill them with dots uh, as you can see here, I'm targeting the, the Magus. They have the, the lowest amount of health, and they also need to die pretty quick because they can be a little bit tricky just because they'll stop and start casting on you. So what this means is like the mob group will kind of get, um, they'll kind of spread out and not be as much of a group anymore. Um, so definitely get the mage down first. Uh, you're probably going to take quite a bit of damage just from this first pack since you can't let them path all the way around. Uh, as a druid, obviously that's fine. If you're any other type of um, caster class, just make sure you have, you know, a hellstone and your void sack up. Or if you're a priest, make sure you're keeping uh, a shield on yourself. And if you're a mage, then obviously make sure you have one of those mobs sheeped and you're keeping like ice barrier up. Um, but that's about it for this first part. You're just going to slowly kill them. And you're going to actually use this ledge for every single pull up to Om Omok. Now, you might be asking, why don't you just go pull Omok uh, without killing any of these? And I did try that. I'll show that footage here now. Um, and as you can see, you can easily get the pull down and you can even get all the way back to the ledge without dying. The problem is you're going to have so many um, additional mobs on you that they're going to get spread out throughout the, the path. And what's going to happen is when you jump up on the ledge, there'll be some that are close to the ledge. And we'll start to hit you, and then as soon as you jump off, there's going to be some that are down the hallway that are going to kill you. Uh, not to mention the fact that the Mystics do heal, so if you get Omok down past, uh, you know, 60% health, then those Mystics will start healing him up. So it, you just can't do it that way. Sadly, this this uh, farm is a little bit longer. It's going to take you roughly 20 to 30 minutes to complete. Uh, but the decent thing about it is, I mean, all these mobs are dropping cloth and... Uh, green items and silver so you're making an okay amount of gold per hour um, nothing like a crazy farm but maybe 10 20 gold an hour um, and the other thing is you're also getting the items from omok now the the items from omok are not only the sky shroud leggings i mean that is what most casters are after but for druids there's also a two-handed mace that is pretty nice, it has good stats on it. it, has a fast swing speed, so not many actual melee classes want it. Like uh, there's better maces for uh, Shaman, Paladin, uh, and Warrior out there. However, the stats on it are pretty nice, so if you are ever going to play Feral Druid, definitely try and get yourself one of these, and you can hold on to that for quite a while. Um, yes, the AV mace is better, and there's a few other better options out there. However, uh, this one's going to be like a cheap alternative. So that's always a good thing. Now, besides the Sky Shroud leggings, there's actually a leather legs 
um, as well, which will come in handy for if you ever do any uh, PvP as a druid and you want to do like some boomkin PvP or hybrid PvP. Uh, it's got a decent amount of spell power on it, 19 spell power. But then what's really nice about these legs is the additional stats that they have and then obviously the armor. So if you're going to PvP, I would keep a hold of one of these pants just for um, PvPing and use Sky Shroud leggings in a just in PvE situations or if you're going to like sit in the back and cast on people. But that's about it so far guys. I'm just going to let this play and then when we get to Omok I'll make a few uh, points on him. Okay guys, let's talk about Omok. So one important thing to note here is the Mystics is pretty much RNG. Uh, you can get one Mystic, you can get two Mystics, uh, and I think you can also get really lucky and get no Mystics. Um, and the Mystics are really hard to deal with as a Druid. Uh, the reason for this is um, they do heal themselves and they have a, regro or a rejuvenation spell also. Um, and both of these spells are pretty powerful, so you can't really just weather them down with dots. And also their mana pool is pretty large too, so you can't oom them either. So your best bet is to actually uh, get these uh, mobs to the point where they're off uh, on kind of like their own path. So you try and keep, like for example, you see me keeping the mage close to me here and, and line of sight of the mystic, so the mystic's mystic can't heal and then the mystic is down the hallway also so that will help you quickly kill the magus um, and then you can start dealing with omok now you see me doing the same thing here i'm trying to keep omok close to me here and the mystic is kind of down the hallway and line of sight of omok this means that the mystic won't be able to heal omok and that's going to be how you're how you're able to do this now if you get to the point where Omok or the Mystic are kind of close together and you need to uh, you need to be able to get them further apart, you can um, just slowly start getting the Mystic to cast on you and Omok will continue to run away as the Mystic is casting. It's kind of a, a tricky thing to explain uh, and it's more just something that you're going to have to practice on. Um, overall, this is a very easy farm even if you mess up. Uh, there's a ledge on this side, but there's a ledge on the exact opposite side that looks exactly the same. However, it's not connected to uh, the path. So what will happen if you jump on that ledge, which you just saw me looking over at, that ledge will actually bug out uh, the mobs and they will evade and essentially they'll reset. So if you do get extremely unlucky and um, you need to kind of reset a pull, just jump over onto that other ledge and they'll reset. And that's kind of the easiest way I've found um, this, like I said, this one's not really anything about, uh, like you don't need to be stressed out about it. Um, it's a fairly easy one, just time consuming and you can do it in any gear. Uh, I do take quite a bit of, uh, damage here, but a lot of it is just, um, insignificant kind of poke damage and damage that I could avoid a little bit more. Uh, if you really want to avoid a lot of damage also, definitely use some Savory Deviate Delight or uh, 
some noggin fogger to put you into a skeleton form or the human form as the tarn hitbox is really big so sometimes when i jump off the ledge even though i feel like i'm outside of the range of their melee hits uh the fact that i'm a tarn and the fact that they have the the ogre has a really large um hit radius as well and so both of those combined will allow you to get hit from pretty far range so you just got to know about that um other than that it's pretty simple as you can see he's finally going down here uh you can see that that took me five minutes to kill him but then you also have to kill all the ads and i got lucky and got it on my my first my first uh try of of, of getting them so anyways guys that is the the video hopefully it was helpful and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.